In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a warm and cool coloured inspired artwork with geometric shapes. Firstly, you will need to know the difference between the warm and the cool colours from the recap video. If you remember, you will see that the warm colours are at the top half of the colour bar, the cool colours are in the middle half, and these at the bottom are the neutrals, which we don't need to use for the task, but you might find useful for some parts, like separating the colours, which I will show you later. First of all, you will need to create a grouping of warm and cool colours. So you will need to decide on how you are going to do this. To make it easier for myself, I'm going to set the background to a warm colour of yellow, and then I'm going to use my slider tool to change half of my screen. So selecting the marker tool and selecting a cool colour, I am going to have half of my screen in cool colour and half of my screen in the yellow colour. Now, if I wanted to, I could split my screen diagonally or any other way that you see fit. This is your artwork. This is just one way in which you can complete this artwork. If I feel like I make a mistake, don't worry. I can always press the back button. If I want to tidy up the line here, down the center, I can always use my razor tool just to sharpen that up. Now, all you need to do is start adding lots of lovely, cool and warm colors to your artwork. So, I am going to use a range of different warm and cool colors together. For this particular outcome, it doesn't matter if everything is a little bit messy. I'm going to show you why you are going to section off your artwork a little bit later. So you can actually apply colour in any way that suits you. It does not have to be perfect. That is why this particular way of creating a warm and cool colour artwork works well for those of you who might struggle a little bit with controlling your finger on the iPad. You can see that I am just placing different cool colours anywhere that I choose on my cool half of the screen. Remember, green, blue and purple are all in the cool colour range. It doesn't matter if there's some background peeping through because I changed my background to have it as a cool colour, so it doesn't matter if I've got some of that peeping through. Have a little bit of purple up at the top and a bit more green down at the bottom here. When I'm happy with my design, with the colors that I've selected, I can then move on to the next task, which is going to be to start to add warm colors to the other half of the screen. And remember what I said, these don't have to be in any particular order it doesn't matter if it is a little bit messy or hasn't got too much control going on. This way of completing your warm and cool colour artwork has been designed to help those of you who might be struggling to control your finger when on the page. You can see that I put the nice warm colour in the background so even if I miss a section, it doesn't matter because I have got lots of warm colour in the background. You want to overlap them all with each other. I've sort of accidentally ended up um, layering these over each other in kind of block shapes. You don't have to do it exactly how I've done it here. You do it the way that you think it should look for your design ideas. And then when you are done, the last bit that you will need to do is then to section off your artwork. So you can see that we've got cool colors 
and warm colours. Next up, we are going to use the thick white marker and we are going to create some lovely geometric lines through our work. So I'm going to start off with a nice big thick diagonal line here. I'm going to add in another diagonal line this side. And the aim here is going to be to try to create a geometric stained glass window kind of effect just using the white marker pen tool in order to section off parts of my work I can have some areas that are thick and some areas that are thin they don't have to all be the same width I might decide to use a thinner tool in some other sections now. As you can see, I'm building up my lines, going over that kind of camouflage background. It's starting to look a bit more like a stained glass window with each line that I add. I am going to add one line kind of down the centre here to section off the cool and the warm. And then the last line I'm going to pop in is going to be here. I'm going to make this one a little bit wider. And then when I'm happy with my work, I can upload it by pressing the green tick. And I've got one half that is cool colours grouped together, the other half that is warm colours grouped together. If I wanted to be really fancy, I could use some of the neutral colours here, grey or black, and I could maybe consider changing the size of my brush and just adding in a little bit of an edge to some of these white stained glass lines that I've created. This is not an essential part of the task. If you would like to do this, you may, but please feel free to upload it just as it is with the white lines as well. This whole task has been developed to help those of you who might struggle to control your pen on the paper. Once you have completed your task, Press the green tick in the corner and upload. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't forget to tag the visual arts folder. If you want to try out this task using traditional materials such as paints, markers or pens, this works particularly well with masking tape and paint. You can try it with cut out pieces of paper you must use any materials that you feel comfortable using to make this task exciting for you. Good luck and don't forget to tag the arts folder.